All right, it is building day, day one, launching day, one day build, raft, and live on. It's so like boring. You can see the ripples in the water. We're making good headway. Dude, fish on. Come on. I'm Zachary Fowler, and this is the Seven Day Water World Survival Challenge. Waterworld Survival Challenge is brought to you by Mystery Tackle Box. Check out the link in the description below for them and the Waterworld Survival Challenge official gear video. All right, we are here at Home Depot. If you clicked on this, you already know we're gonna build a platform. We're gonna build a platform and spend five days living on it. Seven. Days living on it. We're gonna build something 16 by 12. So we need plywood, we need two by fours, we need screws, we need hardware, and we need a lot of totes. I'm thinking like 50 totes. This is a drawing I did on my phone almost a year ago now. Chappelle had sent me an ice shack to use in the On the Ice series. And we never ended up using it, mostly because it ended up being me, the Wooded Beardsman, and Alex Perrick, and there wasn't enough room for the three of us to live in it. When I first designed this, I was thinking I would use 55 gallon drums get some of those free off of Craigslist, and this would keep the cost of the build down. But literally the day after I shared my drawings and plans in a video, the Outdoor Boys had already done it, and they shared their video. He used 18 gallon totes and nailed it. Look at that, she rides pretty well in that water. I am super happy with this project. So after spending several hours on Craigslist and finding zero free 55 gallon barrels, I decided to switch to the tote method and follow the lead of the Outdoor Boys. And for those of you that have been watching for a while, you might remember this guy. That's Chris. He's back. <laughs> we need a big cart. Let's do this. Whoo! 50 totes times six. You, you do the math. How many is that? 50. Uh, $300. We're looking for something more like this. We should get some big ones. Make it happen. Tote boats. Tote. <laughs> like individual. The, like the Batmobile. Like. <laughs> You, you got our, we got our platform and then you kick something, you jump into one and, and paddle free of it. Like the motorcycle comes out of the Batmobile. Bat tote. A little less technology. Like, same a little thing. bit, a little bit uh, cheesier, but I'm not seeing what we need here. Let's go look at wood. If we have to, we can start building tomorrow and send the other parts of our YouTube team out to scavenge the world for every tote and or, hey, what about this? Five gallons. Build them out of Home Depot barrels. Yeah. How many Home Depot barrels would it take to float a 16 five. by? Five times six, it would be six times 50. 200 five gallon buckets, that'd be crazy. All right, we got a cart. Cue the building montage. Patio set for the deck, they're on sale. Right now. Looking for that Home Depot sponsorship. We got orange in common, Home Depot. If you want to sponsor the next build, let me know. We wouldn't get any fishing done, there'd just be all kinds of napping happen. It was a thousand, only $400 for it, this. Not rainproof. Not rainproof, cloth. but shade cloth. That would be nice if we get too warm. Let's get back. If we get too warm, we'll just go for a swim. They're closing soon. We oh, okay. Go. Yeah. Are you from that show alone? Yeah. Like, for real? Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, it's gonna be 517.50. How much? <laughs> Yeah. 
18 gallons? Yeah. Should we pick out princess poles for a, a little princess pole fish off? Because I already have that pole. That's my favorite. The Elsa series, Spider Man. I do like these the white chatter baits. I'm always successful on that. I think we need all the totes we can get. Let's get them. Okay. Get those out of your way. 16 totes and $140 down. Uh, about five of that was treats and what, another 15 or so? 20 was some extra fishing tackles and some rod holders for the boats. So our total for the build so far is up to that number right there, over 600. And we still need 35 totes, 34 totes, something like that, assuming all the totes work. And last but not least, this one's actually my favorite. Don't tell Home Depot that. We need our, the rest of our totes, totes. We need 38 of them or 50 if you got them. Well, there's six. There's six. It's a start. Yep. Oh, there we go. Got one, two, three, four, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 plus 16. We just need another 10, right? Somewhere else? We're down to getting in trouble. <laughs> We're down to getting in trouble for not wearing masks. 18. Those two are different. That's why they don't fit in there. I don't mind the color. 18. 1, 2, 3, 4. 13, 14. That's it. Take it. Should we get the, the blue ones too? Uh... <laughs> All right, and now you talk me into it. Let's have a couple lids. We spent over a thousand dollars in just those first three stores. We did spend a couple dollars on screws the next day as we get into the build, but we ended up buying 24 totes we didn't need, so we saved a couple bucks there at least. All right, it is building day, day one, launching day, one day build raft and live on. Chris has got everything already organized. I was doing a little editing this morning for the last thing so we can, I could be free and clear to do this. Here's our plans for the project right here. We're gonna keep it simple. Three pieces of plywood. This will be one platform and this will be the other platform and when we get there we can bolt the two together and we'll put as many totes as we can underneath each one of these. We got our two by fours, 12 footers, eight footers, two by two and a half or whatever they are. A whole bunch of totes. We might not have to use those little clear ones or maybe we'll hook up one of those. We'll have ourselves a wet well so we can uh, keep some alive if we start catching more than we need just in case the next day we're not doing well. And uh, tiki torches. Let's talk in, we're building. Sawdust. Poland Springs now comes with fiber. Let's throw the totes in. Oh no, they all have these labels on them. Yeah, otherwise they'd be floating around the lake. No good. Are we overdoing it?
There. We'll see how much it weighs. I'll throw our backs out. We can't even do anything for the rest of the week. That's not that bad. Let's walk it back that way. All right, we're ready to flip it and finish it. And one, two, three, drop. Originally, we were gonna bolt the totes to the platform, but in the end, it was just too time consuming. We went with sheetrock screws and just ground the screws off with the grinder. Whoops, I don't know what happened here. For some reason we lost audio on this one clip. So I'll try to just give you the gist of what we're saying. Basically, it's done. It's on the trailer. It, uh, it, we're screwing it on. We didn't screw it up. So that's good. And uh, now we're ready to go. Uh, we screwed the two platforms together and then strapped them to the trailer. Oh yeah, that looks good. We should be good. All right, Chris approves. We're gonna do this. Let's, uh, let's head out. Still got a lot to do before it's dark. And we still want to catch three fish before dark. Oh, no. Wait, no. I was saying there's still three boats that need to get down there to the lake. And, uh, yeah. I think that pretty much covers it. Less talking. More uh, getting out there on the water and having some adventure. I'm excited. How about you? Uh, uh, there. Uh, there. Put it all there. One-handed. Are you feeling it? Silicone's good. Silicone's good? Yep. We'll put a little silicone, if you didn't see that, on the deck between the seams because it's not sealed by boards and some totes are over it. That way, if it does get a lot of rain, we shouldn't get a lot of rain pouring through the cracks and into those. The rest of them are all hard up against the plywood. So those of you that are like naysaying already, you're like, oh, they're gonna get water in them. They really shouldn't have any more water. My prediction is about there maybe even less somewhere less than that you know like let's say thumb and finger is about as far down as it's going to settle into the water so we will see let's bring it over to the lake and launch this beastie
What do you guys think? Is it gonna float? I no. think it is. No, we got yeah. one one yeah. vote for no. Yes? Uh-huh. What about you guys? Yes? Yeah. Uh, I got one no one naysayer. One naysayer. <laughs> the rest of them were yeses, so I'm feeling good, feeling confident. Uh, how are we going to get it in once they're screwed together? Watch out for that nail. I'll wherever. move my corner. Ah. Yeah, we got it. Oh, <laughs> we're taking one of those other lashes. Yeah. Ah, ha, ha. Let's see. Not even but I feel That's like nice. This is gonna change when we screw. It's so like boring. Oh, oh. Like. Nailed it. Should have worn some shorts. Ella Enchanted. Yeah. That was one of my favorites. Far. Those are good fishing bait. Some sort of hitch. Really nice. This is the peanut gallery. Hello. These are all the people that voted for me. The young man that did voted that we would sink, he he took off. <laughs> he had to leave in shame. No, he didn't leave in shame. <laughs> if you've been watching my videos, the majority of my little adventures close to home always happen in Seven Tree Pond right here. But this time, we're going with Crawford Pond. I'm not even a mile from home, but I've never been on Crawford before. But it's a really special place with this 100-acre island in the middle and so many unique features in it. And it's a private lake. All the properties around the lake are private. So we thought without public access and us only having access through Micmac Campground and renting a campsite, that we would be in a quiet, secluded little place. Turns out... It's quite the little water world in its own right. It's about 10 o'clock at night. We're here with the final load. Car's got the kayak. I think we're gonna need a bigger raft. What is this? When did you sneak all these into here? <laughs> Dicks 20, 30, 45. Ice fishing Ice set. Trout. My rods are under there somewhere too. Wow, we got a lot of stuff. Now we have to get it all onto the raft. Don't lead it into the bank. Oh, dude, this is so cool. We uh, just cast off, and we're trying to bring the boat around, tie it off, fire it up, and motor out to where we're gonna spend the night. I don't know. We'll go backwards and forwards, like we're parallel parking <laughs> all our way out. Into we are getting farther away from the shore. Put the tr trolling motor in and steer the front of the boat, if you would, please. Oh, Heading towards the moon. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful night. Head for the moon. Shoot for the moon. We got it figured out now. Even with the motor turned all the way over as if we're supposed to be going this way, the bar's just 
Like now I'm calling it barge. The float just keeps dragging us around in circles, so. We got Chris on the trolling motor, and he's cranking hard that way, and that keeps us straight. You can see the ripples in the water, we're making good headway. Maybe the 2.0 version will have to have its own motor. That'd be cool. Solar powered, solar powered float home, away from home. Cool. But right now we gotta find our home away from home for the night so we can make some dinner, have a fire, and relax, set up our our uh, ice shack for our tent and be able to go to bed with a full belly. There's the lights of civilization as we leave them behind. Goodbye civilization. Probably want to just pick somewhere easy tonight where the depth isn't too bad. 14 feet. We could live with 14 feet. can't tell how close we are to the edge. Like quite a ways off or what? Oh, looks like we're getting close to the other side. Let's tuck ourselves right in here. Whoa, what is that? Little bait fish jumping. I heard that, but what is that? Is that just a stick? Is it a stick or a beaver or? Like a awesome oh, it's a loon. Oh. Like, like, it's staring at us. Pops up right here. Tax. When loons attack. We failed our first night out because we got attacked by loons. We in for fun. We're at 16 feet, but. That's pretty good. I mean, a fish almost did just jump into the boat. I wouldn't doubt that it was a mark. The other side is now far, far away. And we're coming into what looks to be a little cove. I'd say we make, uh, call it good right here. Yeah. Beaver. All right, we gotta get ourselves all squared away somehow. That beaver. Yeah. Yeah, pretty short. Put on these. Yeah. There we go. Never mind. There we go, God. Well, it's definitely spacious. But we forgot that it's an ice fishing shack. So those are just windows, not screens. So if the bugs get bad, yeah. But hopefully since we're far enough from land, I'm not feeling any bugs right now. Hopefully they don't get bad. Not too shabby. And... All right, you wanna to toss me in the cots and I'll set those up. Man, I hate putting cots together. This is why a hammock is so much better. Ah! Come on, you miserable curse! There. All right, home sweet home. Not so convenient that the doors are on the corners. Fire and food. I'm good. I'm Fire hungry. and food. Super hungry. Hangry almost. Yeah. There. Just keep them 
from falling in. We got lucky that where the fire doesn't blow right into our shelter. Yeah, I guess. true, yeah. We didn't look at that. Well, it keeps the bugs away. Just trying to chop all quietly so we don't disturb our neighbors and just like <laughs> preserve our peaceful thing. And now there's well, blood. You should have shaken it in the water to track some fish. I did. I washed my hands instantly. Oh, yeah. Your shirt is, yeah. I think I should change. Holy cow. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Throw a little bit of that on a line, just give it a little, little <laughs> jigging. You catch a, catch a fish with a piece of your shirt? It uh, wouldn't surprise me. Stop bleeding though, so happy about that. Oh, you son of a gun! Oh! Oh! That feels so good. Oh! Oh, that was worth it. It's freaky. I can't remember the last time I went swimming at night. I just want to get back out like that beaver splashing. <laughs> All I can do is <laughs> I swam to the edge pretty quick. But man, do I feel good. No, I gave my face like a, a underwater until I came up and then I was just like, oh, that's nice. Tonight on the Floating Iron Chef, Cheddar worse because we got out here so late. There's no way we we're gonna get to. Uh, we may catch a fish, but we want to eat. Peppers, onions. Chunk it all up. Throw it in a pan. Put it on the fire. You have yourself a delicious dinner. Big healthy chunk of butter. Spicy. Cheddar was. And your leg and pepper. Jigging rod from Frostbite, a little grub. I'm just gonna drop it straight down, leave it there, see what happens. No freaking. Dude, fish on. Come on, are you kidding me Whoa. right now? Uh, you want me to pop it off the tripod? Yeah, we got. There we go. White perch. Ah. A white? A lively oh. little son of a gun. Oh, oh we almost, almost went down, down the, the hole. hole. <laughs> he almost went down the hole. <laughs> ah, he's a. He's wants <laughs> back in. White perch. Uh, maybe kill, oh. There he goes. He's gone. <laughs> I, as soon as I dropped it in, I felt like a little bump and I wasn't sure if it was this dropping down and because it drops so smoothly. And then, tonk. They must be all up underneath of us. What was that on? It was just this little pink jig head with a uh, grub on it. A little yeah. wax worm. Nice job, man. First fish. Thanks. Let's see if we can catch a bigger one from down there. It's like jigging spot right here. That's cool. I can't believe you just pulled that. I was just going to leave my rod there, but I think I'm going to move over and sit here in my swivel chair and try not to fall in. And then actively just jig off the side of our 
freaking platform here. I'm pretty excited. I mean, imagine just living like this every day. Like everybody probably thinks that like, isn't that what you do every day? That's all I see you do in videos. <laughs> July 15th and you, I can't wait for ice fishing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the cold. All right, so the rest of the night we now get a single bite. <laughs> I just, I do love the small stuff, don't I? It's, I mean, fish must be able to see in the dark some, otherwise they just bump into things all the time, right? Cooking up at all the things are taking forever. <laughs> frozen? I don't know. It seems like no, yeah, they're cooking. They're they're softening up they're starting slowly to get some brown, but surely. So got some I do love these just this little the, I just pull up. the trigger and it just drops straight, these these reels. Have we ever spoken about you building an ice shack? Like a sweet ice shack type of deal? I mean I guess that's the inevitable next step. Like some sort of a well, not saying that the Eagle Claw Chapelle <laughs> isn't the, is a bad product. Isn't, isn't the it. <laughs> but that's the light setup. Like I do. I would bag. like to have a nice snowmobile that, like, you could bomb around in with a nice long track. Mm -hmm. And so maybe making some sort of an ultra light shack that was like super palace, but also light enough that a heavy duty long track snowmobile could drag it. Could handle it. So you bring it to the location on your trailer and you got your and you make it so the snowmobile tucks inside of it. Oh so, so you it slip stays the shack warm. on top of your snowmobile trailer or your trailer of some sort mm -hmm. and then you Oh oh not scared but you need this off me. Fire on dock <laughs> Do we have, have some sort of like we get them <laughs> extinguishing <laughs> uh I forgot the fire extinguisher. That's ready. Let's divvy it up. Well, 2 a.m. No. Yes, sir. Burning the midnight oil. I'm not waking up at five today. <laughs> or today, yeah, today, literally. I, I divided them, you can pick. It's called chef's choice. We don't even have the woods to get sticks to make chopsticks. It's good. It's good. Passable? Just need to uh, cut, oh, a, cut wait, a paper fork. I'm trying to figure out what a... I got my utensil. <laughs> Were you about to use fat wood? <laughs> was you no, use... that is my... That's my other thing I was going to make. Here, you can use the big spoon. <laughs> really? And I'm going to make fat wood chopsticks. Oh, so, I'll just uh, take the fat wood. Split it. And... You know that stuff's from Mexico, right? What's that have to do with anything? Excellent job, Zach. Thank you. That would chopsticks. Da, 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 da. Lord, thank you for the food. Thank you for helping us complete this thing in a extremely fast manner and make it out here tonight. Help us get a good night's sleep. Not to get bit by bugs, but bit by lots of fish while we're out here. In Jesus' name, amen. Ow! I don't know if it's all the fumes and the smoke, or but the bugs aren't really that bad. I we haven't had really. I didn't see any bugs when we first arrived either. Before we had smoke, but we before did have the we two left torches. Before house, I was getting bit up. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to swing by the woods or something on one of the boats and get ourselves some more wood for chopsticks. Ah, he's getting tangled behind the ladder. Darn it. There we go. Oh, I shouldn't have uh -oh. forced it. We should have oh. had the net out. Would you go for the boat flip? Yeah, I was going for the boat flip. <laughs> I was just like. That was a bigger one, though. I'm it was a, that was a keeper for breakfast. Ah. Uh. Uh. Keep popping off. Of the dock. There we 
go. Nice. Now that's a good breakfast right there. That's nice. There's a yummy perch for breakfast. That's a good one. That's the second or third one I, that I got, but like finally landed one. I bet I can get like three more for breakfast. Heck yeah, dude. Ah! Man, they're quick. Ha <laughs> Delicious. Perch breakfast. Oh, I was gonna say perch and eggs, but I didn't bring any eggs. Perch, and, perch fried in bacon fat. Woo! Maybe I should catch one more so I have something to share with Chris since he can't seem to catch anything. <laughs> I'm going to bed. You are? Yeah. Well, awesome first day. Build the raft, launch it, get out here, have dinner, catch a couple fish for tomorrow's breakfast. Actually, today's breakfast since it's like 3 in the morning right now. I'm done. Stick a fork in me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Fowler out. Tune in next time as we explore underneath the raft to make sure it's working out okay, and that we're not going to sink, and that the adventure actually does continue yeah. for all seven episodes, and then we'll make some friends, and then we're going to eat them. A little bit. And some hit.